All right, looking live at the Fargo Airport out to the north of our studios here. It's a little bit on the hazy side. We definitely had our fair share of cloud cover as we went through our day. Temperatures a little cooler than our Thursday, but it ended on a pleasant note. 33 degrees, your current temperature wind from the east southeast is 10 miles per hour. So it's a cool evening out there for sure. And as we look up to the north and east into central Minnesota, northwest Minnesota, that's where the coolest pool of air continues to be. 24 Bidette, 28 in Bemidji. And this cool pool was sliding back toward the west as we went through the day, keeping temperatures a little cooler for us. 34 in Wapaton, 32 in Jamestown. And as we take a look at the big picture, here's how the weather setup is as we close our work week heading into the weekend. Cold pool of air off to the north and east. That's what you were feeling today in Bemidji and Bidette. That was trying to punch its way back to the west into the valley, keeping us a little cooler. Much warmer air out to the west in the western Dakotas. And along this boundary, we got the clouds, we got the fog, we got intermittent spits and flurries from time to time. And yes, a fog advisory has been reissued for the James River Valley in our western counties. So if you're traveling out to the west tonight, there's a decent chance of some very dense fog. In fact, it really hasn't lifted for the entirety of the day in some of those areas. Hour by hour forecast shows that fog in the dark gray that you see out to the west. The wind should keep that fog from really getting too close to us this evening. But as you saw on the tower cam here moments ago, there's certainly some low clouds and some haze here in the Southern Valley. As we go through the overnight hours, temperatures stay nearly steady, upper 20s to around 30. That is how we start your Saturday morning out. And if you are tailgating, there'll be a little bit of a breeze out there. So it'll have a cool and crisp feel to it. And it doesn't look like it'll be overly sunny either. The fog moves into the eastern third of North Dakota. Some of us very close to the valley may see some fog. I don't think there'll be much of a problem for fog in parts of Minnesota with those winds. Temperatures will rise. The south winds continue. The fog lifts for many and well, it does look like we'll see cloud cover throughout the day. Spotty sprinkles here and there with this really warmer air trying to punch its way back to the east as we go into our Saturday night. That's when we'll have the best chance at seeing hit and miss showers of rain across Minnesota, hit and miss showers of snow across North Dakota. Most of us will see nothing. And if we do get anything, it'll be very light. In Fargo-Moorhead, 32 degrees will be how we start the day. Cloudy skies, watch out for patchy, dense fog. And because temperatures in the morning will be near freezing, we have what we call freezing fog. That's where the fog droplets or cloud droplets freeze instantly on things like your radio antenna or the sidewalk or even the street. So we could have slippery conditions, particularly out west to start the day. Temperatures rising nicely in Fargo to the 40s, a chance at 40 degree weather in southeast North Dakota, including Fargo, Breckenridge, Oaks. As we go off to the east, a pretty fair day as well as the 30s return to much of central and western Minnesota, 38 in Devil's Lake. And look at this gorgeous Grand Fork shot shared by Tom here of the Point Bridge at sunrise. What a beautiful scenic shot that was. Thanks, Tom, for sharing your photo. Now take a look. Sunday, the cool air sloshes back into the valley. Again, unsettled with spotty flurries here and there. Next week, we start out that week with temperatures staying near 40 degrees. And then the cold air does return as we go through the middle of the week. The best chance of some snow might be on Wednesday, the way things are looking, with temperatures in the mid-30s. Mike? Yeah, anything else you want to say? Andrea? Andrea? Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, um, we were about to say that Mike looks uh, dapper. I like that tie. That is a fantastic tie. Yes, yeah. Did you get nice. a haircut? New shoes? No. No. Oh, thanks for asking. Yeah. yeah. Looking yeah, great good. tonight, Mike Morgan. Up next.